So a while back, I walked you through my process of managing photos in Lightroom. Now that I'm using Linux full-time for my photos, I wanted to walk you through what I'm doing with Digicam and um, RAW Therapy, which is the way I'm doing things now, at least when I have uh, RAW files. So when I have um, JPEGs, um, Digicam provides a full um, solution for me from beginning to end. I come in here, um, I edit the tags, I add a title if I want, I can do, you know, add some, some different data here, and <clears throat> it's no big deal, it's really easy to use, I love it. Now if I'm using a RAW file, um, Digicam does have the ability to deal with RAW files, um, but the problem is that it doesn't, um, it doesn't um, have the ability to deal with some of the newer cameras, like the um, Rebel T6S, uh, and it doesn't have quite the full functionality that the uh, raw therapy does. Now, if I was just going to do a really simple, hey, I like how the camera did it, and um, perhaps when a future version of Digicam supports, um, you know, supports um, this camera, then it'll be very easy to just do quickly. Hey, I like how it came out, just do it. So <clears throat> what happens, what, I, what I'm doing now for my process is I'll go through my files, and here, as you can see, it's showing me the embedded JPEG preview. That means it's showing me what the camera would have taken if I had taken a JPEG instead of a raw photo. And this gives me a good starting point. This is kind of, this lets me know, is this picture out of focus? Is it a good picture? Do I like the com composition? And I, you know, give them star ratings, and that'll determine which ones I'm actually going to work in in raw therapy, as opposed to, you know, before with um, Lightroom, I would kind of work through them all, and it was very time-consuming, and um, I used to make JPEGs of everything, and now that you can see that um, this is a, a Canon RAW file, but Digicam can see it just fine. All of the um, programs within Linux can read it just fine. So I'm only converting to JPEGs um, the files that I want to put on um, my blog or if I want to put them um, in, in Flickr. So the process that I was following um, yesterday as I was going through these photos is I would right click on here and I would click open with RAW therapy <coughs> and it will open it up with RAW therapy. And there it goes. And so this kind of gives you the base of what they're starting with. They're, they take you a little closer to um, what came out of the camera. So they haven't applied as many filters as the embedded preview. So um, it's a little noisier than, we, than what we saw there. Uh, it's a little blander. So you have to do a little uh, messing around in here to get the picture that you want. But it'll be exactly the picture you want, which is the whole point of RAW as opposed to um, shooting JPEGs. And, um, you know, as I said, um, there are ways if um, Digicam supports the camera, and they do support that camera if you convert it to a DNG file, they just don't have the ability to read the CR2s as of the last time I tried, um, a couple months ago. Um, then you can very easily get something out that'll be almost exactly the representation that you had. Now, let's, this is all good and well if you're going to just do a few photos, but what if you want to do, um, if you want to, you did a, a photo shoot and you want to deal with that. So the best thing to do there is you would start raw therapy on its own, which I'm about to do right now. Um, so as you can see, when you start it up, um, you get these three tabs, file browser, queue, and editor. And um, you get this view here. So you can apply global changes. Um, if you were doing a photo shoot in a studio where you're gonna have the same lighting the whole, the whole way through, it can help to adjust the white balance or the exposure, um, you, you know, what I did yesterday kind of makes a little more sense doing it 1Z, 2Z because um, each of these is going to need different settings. Um, but that wouldn't be the case if you were doing it in a studio. But the best part about running raw therapy this way, if you have a whole bunch of photos to do, and this is something that I completely forgot about and it made things take a lot longer for me um, yesterday, was the queue. So when you open up a photo, um, it looks... Um, very similar to the way I had it open um, before when I launched it from Digicam, except that you have this up here, which um, you can get rid of. And um, so uh, when you're done with that, you click on these two cogs here, and that'll send it to the queue, and then you can just do a whole bunch of pictures at once, because converting from a RAW file to a JPEG is quite computationally intensive. So you can kind of do that and then just go and um, have a cup of tea or whatever. And so um, this is the strategy I'm using now. And um, if I figure out a better strategy, I will um, definitely get to it 
uh, and show you in the future. But this is what I found to be the most efficient at.